Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna try to do something a little different. I'm gonna do vlog style, and some is gonna be voiceover as well. But I'm also gonna be taking you guys with me to the flea market. I haven't done a haul in a long time, and you guys have been asking for me to do a haul, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you um, a video from Blue Apron. I partnered up with them to share some of uh, their meals. I'm gonna be making three meals that are just uh, fantastic. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. And to everything, this video is sponsored by Blue Apron, and I'm so blessed that they have asked me to share this with you guys because a lot has been going on. Like I said, my refrigerator is just uh, it was on the brinks for about almost two months no I'm sorry two months in a week and it's just horrible but when I'm cooking uh, this is what I like to do I like to listen to a little music this is my Harman Car Kardon speaker I got that from Best Buy um, around the holidays on sale and I'm listening to let me see oh, I'm listening to Boney Jean's Butter, Send One Your Love. I love, love, love that song. It's it's smooth and relaxing. So I'm going to open up this box and show you what's inside. Blue Apron has a great offer. The first 50 people to sign up will get $50 off their first two weeks of Blue Apron. I will provide a link down below in my description box. They also deliver all farm fresh ingredients right to your front door. No waste, no trips to the grocery store. And they also offer two types of plans, two person and the family plan. Uh, you can choose two to three recipes. Each are designed to serve two people. The family plan, you can choose two to four recipes and they are designed to serve four people. These are the three recipes that I got. Spicy pork and rice cakes, soy honey chicken and rice, and Mexican spiced beef and rice bowls. So all three are meat because we love meat. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting and fun. And I believe all of the recipes are under 30, no, yeah, under 30 minutes. These two are under 40 minutes. So let's get cooking. Like about the packaging that they have, I do appreciate that they're in little Ziploc bags so none of the juices will get all over the place. Although it's already pre-packaged inside, but it's just that double protection that always um, warms my heart for safety. So one of the things I do appreciate about the recipe cards is that they all have uh, the ingredients right here on the card. And they have pictures of what you should have in your package and if everything is measured out. And they also have on the back of the card, they have where you can um, follow their directions step by step. Nice big pictures. This is a change from the last blue apron that I had. So it's good to see that. And all the instructions. So it's like self-explanatory pretty much. And I, like I said earlier too, is that I like that it's 30 to 40 minutes. Now we only got two servings because my son is never home and he's always either out with his friends or eating. So I'm gonna get started on this. The recipe calls for putting some vegetables on the pan. So the recipe calls for sweet peppers. I'm gonna cut them up and wash them off along with the broccoli. I like to slice them recipe calls for slicing them so I'm just slicing them really quickly um, you could dice them you could do whatever you want I like doing them this way I'm just gonna put the broccoli and the peppers Oops. left more broccoli behind cut it down to bite size and just put it up here then I'm gonna get some salt and pepper After preparing the veggies, I'm preparing soy honey sauce that's just so amazing. I will be making that again. Here are the roasted veggies. I left out the togarashi because it would have been too much for me and they roasted for about 16 minutes. Now I'm preparing the chicken. After patting the breast dry with a paper towel, I seasoned with salt and pepper and I added two teaspoons full of olive oil and cooked for 7 minutes on each side. Again, this recipe calls for peanuts but I opted out. So my chicken is all cooked and ready to go, and my honey sauce and my roasted vegetables. And to do my meal prep, I have my containers here inside my little container organizer. 
I've had this for a couple years now and when I tell you guys this stays exactly like this all the time I mean it is so worth the money it's so worth the Next, I'm preparing spicy pork and rice cakes with bok choy. It's a Korean dish that's spicy and savory. I never had it before, but that's the great thing about Blue Apron. You can try new dishes and all of the work is done for you. I'm washing all of my veggies and one thing that impressed me the most was how crisp and fresh everything was. It was as if I picked them out myself. And now I'm preparing the ground pork that was raised without antibiotics. While browning the pork, I'm preparing the ginger mixture and it's all pre-measured and I'm pouring the mixture in with the pork. Now I'm preparing the Korean rice cakes. It's going to boil for about two to three minutes or until tender, and then add your rice cakes, your chopped bok choy leaves, and with the pork and the sauce, and serve. Hey you guys, the Hubster and I are at the flea market this morning. Say hi to the people, baby. Hey. <laughs> hey. So, you guys have been requesting that I do a flea market video I haven't done it in a while and you're right you're right you're absolutely right I'm here today it is all hot it's real early it's about what nine nine o'clock babe well, that's okay I'm at the Ramona flea market here on off of I-10 let me show it to you over here that's I-10 over there in case you guys want to know where it's at I already scored a few goodies I'll show that in the next clip but I'm trying to get through this morning because it's hot. So let's see what we find. I'm at my all time favorite vendor and he has a ton of water dispensers by Primo. Brand new, they go for about $30 and he was selling them for $10. Perfect for the garage when you need a water break from yard work. So over here in the corner, Huffy got a, what is that babe? It's a, a charger, a starter. Okay, I think he wants $20 for that. The vendor gave it to us for $10 because it was used. Knew it will cost $45, so that was like a tremendous savings. And he had hair clippers, trimmers, blow dryers, hair accessories. All of this was dirt cheap, you guys. He was also selling tools by HyperTouch. Used tools were dirt cheap. If you wanted new, you paid a little more, but it was still affordable. Hey babe, what is this? This looks like something you would know. That's an ammo can, a military ammo can. What is it used for? Well, you store bullets and stuff in ammo. Oh. You guys know my husband is retired Marine. Ooh, Ooh, God, God, man. Marines How much is there. He's got $8 a piece on it. $8 a piece. I look at it as storage, honey. <laughs> That's yeah, what I look at it as storage. Bullets. Store your bullets. Even got a car for sale. One thing that 
What's that, honey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing about the flea market is I don't buy everything I see, you guys. I buy very unique items like antiques or something very specific to what I want. You gotta be careful what you buy. You don't wanna bring home critters. You know I'm always preaching that. So, furniture is a no-no. Um, like a couch or something. But if it's something that you can paint that's wood or something, you can definitely bring that home, clean it up, um, spray it, air it out, that type of thing. But I like unique things. In the end, we only got the water dispenser and the battery charger, but in my next video, I will be sharing how I got a $25 kitchen cabinet and I turned it into bathroom storage from the Habitat Restore. So I will have a link down for Blue Apron if you guys would like to purchase that. And I wanna thank you all for watching.